Good morning vlog, it's Vlogmas Day 10. How exciting. Number one, my alarm did not go off for Orange Theory this morning. Um, I had a 7 a.m. class booked and I had an alarm set for 6.15 and it just didn't go off. And I'm pretty upset. I feel really bad because I feel like the class was definitely full because it was a morning class and I don't know. But I rebooked for 4.45 and like I'm going to get charged the late fee so like I really shouldn't feel bad. On a second note, Taylor Swift releasing an album at midnight. Literally, this girl does not stop. And she just keeps doing these surprise things and I can't handle this stuff. It's now 8 a.m. and I'm just going to get started on my to-do list and getting things done and getting today's Vlogmas episode up. Um, and I'll check in with you guys when that's all good. Alright, it's now 10.30. So it's a little bit later than I thought I would be up because I fell back asleep, obviously. But I fell back asleep so now I have to edit my video from yesterday, get that up later than usual i try to get that up by 10 but we're gonna edit that video and then we're gonna hop right into today's kind of to do all right yesterday's vlog just went up super fun and i'm gonna watch some brooke Michio. she hit 100k yesterday on instagram exciting well i eat some lunch this is just leftover spaghetti and chicken parm that my mom made last night so right now i'm working on this Super fun little thing to wrap up my athletics internship with Binghamton, which is so, so, so bittersweet, but I can show you guys what I'm doing. Basically, every day we post a this day in Binghamton kind of thing, and it's like from years past, and basically this is one of our sponsors, Mooney Sports Bar and Grill, so I just put the label on every single photo. I usually add like a little stroke around it like that. Um, and I just post this on all of the photos. I usually do this like monthly, so by the month, that way I just upload it to social media at the same time. But since I graduated, he just asked me to get them all done for the spring semester. So I have like a bunch of months to do right now, but that's fine. Okay, so I am a big networking gal, big professional networking gal, as if you didn't know that because of my podcast at Touching Base PR, where I interview people in the public relations space but basically what i want to do is connect with all my contacts so one of the tips that i actually got on my podcast was i knew that i was supposed to like follow up with my professional connections but something that i didn't always know was exactly how to go ahead and do that because sometimes it can kind of feel weird to just reach out out of the blue so when i had lottie smalley on my episode she actually mentioned like reaching out around the holidays, which I think is such a great, fantastic, wonderful idea. So basically I'm going to go through, I have all my professional connections saved in like a folder on my Google email, and I'm just going to like message them and just like a happy holidays. I'm going to let them know that I just graduated, looking for jobs, all that kind of jazz, which is super exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll keep you guys updated. I just made this graphic on Canva for my podcast Instagram and it says from touching base to you, happy, happy Hanukkah. And follow up with your professional connections the touching base podcast instagram is designed to inspire and encourage young professionals to succeed in their professional career so i thought this was like the perfect post to just remind people to do exactly what i just did here's my outfit for the day tank top from old navy leggings from old navy this sweatshirt is from amazon and these sneakers are from cheeks fit body Um, iCarly reboot what the heck comment your thoughts down below I want to know what you're thinking I don't know if I said that I was going to get my nails done but I was so I went and got my nails done I got this blue color um I put a poll on my Instagram story um about whether I was going to do blue or pink and most people voted for pink but fun fact I absolutely despise pink on my nails like my friend Lauren gets pink on her nails all the time and I'm like oh my god I love them on you but I cannot handle pink on my own nails for some reason it just really really bothers me excited for orange theory because obviously I missed this morning like I said because my alarm didn't go off um tonight's class is an ESP day I know that I looked online and 
I also believe my studio is doing theme Thursday and I believe they're playing like all country music today which honestly is gonna get me going because I love country music I'm just gonna like pop on my mask I'm gonna leave my sweater in the car because that's what makes the most sense and yeah Whew, okay I kind of have like multiple thoughts about that class first of all the coach was like new in my studio I think he was just a sub but I really wasn't like a huge fan of him um I just feel like he wasn't like readily available on the weight room floor and like I'm sure like if I had like asked a question he would have come right over but I usually wait for a coach to come over and like correct me and he didn't really do so so I wasn't really a huge fan of him and I also was not a fan of his like music I'm like Sure, like, had he been prepared for, like, the theme day, he would have, like, had country music, but, um, I think he was just a sub, so he, like, didn't have country music prepared, and I just, like, wasn't a fan of his music, so I don't think I would take another class with him, and, like, normally I'm not, like, a big coach person, like, normally I'm, like, fine with whatever coach, but, yeah, I just, like, wasn't a fan of him. Alright, vlog, this is what I have for dinner. It's from Fireside Caterers, so I got chicken nuggets, corn, rice. And some pasta. <laughs> all right, ladies and gents, let's talk about the agenda for tonight. So first of all, I just took a shower, and now I'm wearing this bathrobe that I literally just got for Hanukkah from Walgreens, which is super cute. I can like. It's just this like long little bathrobe, so I'm just wearing it over my pajamas open to keep me warm and cozy. Um, after that, I'm gonna blow out my hair, make it all smooth, whatever, and then at 9 p.m. I have a Zoom call with another YouTuber. Her name is Maya, and we're just gonna talk um, and talk about um like being Han celebrating both Hanukkah and Christmas because we both do that. Um, so we're just going to do a little collab and we're just going to answer some questions that I asked on my Instagram story earlier today. So we're just going to answer questions and have a conversation about celebrating both holidays. And then I'm going to end that this vlog. And then tomorrow's vlog is going to start at literally like midnight tonight when um, Evermore by Taylor Swift drops and it's going to have my reaction in it. Hi Jamie's viewers, my name is Maya. I am a college student studying public relations here in Canada. And I mostly make lifestyle and mental health content. And I have a blog that is currently being renovated, but is always linked to my videos where we talk about coffee, shopping, lifestyle, mental health, all those fun things. Do you just want to maybe start off by talking about like your Hanukkah and Christmas traditions? We yeah. can each do that. Okay. So I don't know about you, but my mom is Jewish. My dad is Catholic. So that's here. what I celebrate both but I feel like I was raised predominantly Jewish and like I had a bat mitzvah when I was 13 and all of that mm -hmm. jazz so for Hanukkah when I was younger we obviously used to go to my grandma's house but then she moved to Florida so we no longer go there um and for Christmas we go to my other grandma's house and we celebrate there um we always put up a Christmas tree um it's so funny because I feel like my mom and I usually end up putting up the tree um <laughs> There have been so many years, like, I think one year my dad was working on Thanksgiving um, after, like, dinner, and my mom, like, turned to me, and she was like, how funny would it be if, like, dad came home and the tree was up, and I was like, oh my god, like, we should do it, um, so I think it's so funny that I feel like my mom and I, like, the two most Jewish people in the family are always the ones to put up the tree, um, so that's kind of a tradition, um, I guess my holiday tradition at my grandma's house is that she always makes um Christmas cookies a whole bunch of them and this year with COVID we obviously couldn't go and have them all together but she like packaged them up for us so we could go and get them which was cute and she makes like all different types like rainbow cookies other ones with like little candies in them I don't know I'm not a big cookie person but everyone else in my family is big on these Christmas cookies <laughs> and then I guess my Hanukkah tradition I don't know if other people do this but when I was growing up, like, every holiday, my grandma made matzo ball soup, but apparently <laughs> that's a thing that only people do for Passover, and I found that out this year. I found out that not everyone has matzo ball soup at every Jewish holiday, and I kind of think my world was blown, so I think that's <laughs> a Hanukkah tradition. What about you? 
Um, we actually, we have matzo ball soup on like mm-hmm. Passover and Rosh Hashanah, but like never on Hanukkah, but like, I don't, I didn't know it was just a Passover thing. Uh, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So for, so my mom's Jewish, my dad's Christian, but they were both not really raised in like religious households. So like we've ne- we never go to synagogue, but we do go to church sometimes on Christmas Eve because my aunt runs the church choir at the church that she and my dad grew up going to. So f- for Hanukkah, we have like one night where we go to my mom's side of the family and have like latkes and light the lights all together and take a photo and exchange gifts and stuff and then because that side of the family is Jewish we don't see them for Christmas kind of like you I think so with our in our own house we just like light the lights every night and yeah that's basically it for Hanukkah but then for Christmas we have a tree and we normally get together with my dad's side of the family my grandma lives like about a one hour plane ride away from here but of course she can't come for the holidays um so it's just gonna be super quiet this year but normally we like open stockings on Christmas morning and then then when my aunt and uncle come over and my grandma in the afternoon we do like main presents and Christmas dinner and stuff so pretty similar yeah Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the questions that I got that I think kind of relates to our story. Someone asked me, do you put Jewish decorations on your tree? And I know for me, we do have like Hanukkah ornaments that go up on our tree and like little Jewish stars, which I think is really funny. Yeah. I can't even think. I'm sure we have a few or we still like one of the things that like often happens, especially not this year as much but there are some years where Hanukkah is like over top of Christmas <laughs> and so then we have like all the things going my mom is like I don't want to put the tree up until Hanukkah's over if it's early in December but even this year she's like I'm not waiting <laughs> until like the 18th of December to put up the tree let's just do it so we probably have the odd one I think that like everyone just wanted to put their trees up super early this year it just like the holiday season just makes everything better Honestly, yeah. I'm like, we're putting it up this weekend and I'm just ready. <laughs> like, I need it. <laughs> Our tree went up, I think, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So it's been up for a little bit and it just makes me so happy every time I go, like, go downstairs, especially at night and it's like lit and I'm just like, oh, happiness. <laughs> exactly. And see, if it was up to me, like if I lived in my own house. And so in Canada, we have Thanksgiving in October. So like, if it was up to me, the tree would be going up like, after we have remembrance day on november 11th so that you kind of don't do christmas until after that and then if it was up to me the tree would be going up but oh literally the second it turns um like november 1st i'm like happy christmas i'm like merry christmas (laughs) um i remember one night i was it was like my freshman year of college or my sophomore year of college and i was out on halloween like at a halloween party and like literally it turned 12 o'clock and I literally remember posting on my snapchat story I was like Halloween is over Merry Christmas everyone (laughs) exactly those are the only two periods of the year that matter leading up to Halloween and then Christmas yes for sure and then someone else asked me what do you do when Hanukkah falls on Christmas yeah I I mean I feel like it's been a few years since that happened but I feel like we wouldn't have like our celebration my mom I don't know if anybody on like the Jewish side of your family does this but like my mom's sister just goes to Mexico for like two weeks over the Christmas holidays (laughs) so we would normally do our like Hanukkah get together with them as early as possible and then we'd probably just light the lights on Christmas anyway I feel like what about you okay so my cousins are also both like half and half Mm -hmm. so when we're all like together for Christmas it's usually like it's it's like my dad's parents my dad and his brother and then my mom my aunt and the four cousins and I think it's so funny one year I remember we like brought down the menorah to light it and I think my grandma got a little bit jealous because (laughs) you know Christmas whatever 
and she put um candles in a cake and she actually wanted us to sing like happy birthday to Jesus oh my god <laughs> to like you know um make the holidays kind of merge I think um which I mean I think is funny but like I remember she was like we did this all the time when the kids were younger and my dad and my uncle looked at each other and they were like no we didn't no. <laughs> that's so cute that's adorable yeah I don't remember very well but I feel like we would just try and merge them as much as possible yeah and then someone asked on the YouTube page um do you see any overlaps in the celebration slash meetings for both and I mean I think like Christmas is like the celebration of like Jesus's birth whatever so like I mean birthday party candles Hanukkah festival of lights like they're both celebrations yeah I was trying to think about that too because I've never really thought about them like overlapping I feel like yeah I feel like it's also a cel- like a celebration of something that people weren't really expecting like with the Hanukkah story they weren't really expecting the oil to last for eight days it was kind of it was a miracle right and I feel like the birth of Jesus <laughs> Mary like had no clue she was pregnant you know that kind of thing <laughs> like they it was also a miracle kind of for the people during that time so that could be part of it I mean I don't know like a lot about the Christmas like backstory I only know like you know the manger <laughs> yeah I don't know too much either but I think that both of them like Hanukkah is like obviously a story of like resilience and all of that kind of jazz and I think that uh Jesus becomes like this resilient figure in like the Christian religion so I think it's kind of fitting that they fall around the same time um but I also like I also know that like Hanukkah is like not supposed to be like a big holiday in the Jewish religion and it just is a big holiday because it's like a hallmark holiday now because it's so close to Christmas that we kind of just made it this way yeah that's very true people when I was younger and I would talk about it people would be like oh so you must get like so many more presents because you celebrate both but it's like it's only commercialized because of people like taking advantage of how close it is to Christmas and the fact that they can make people buy stuff yeah for sure and then we talk about tradition so what is your favorite part about both holidays Mm -hmm. okay you know I gotta be like honest here Lutkas are kind of my jam I really look forward to that every year (laughs) but I also yeah I like but Christmas for me it's not about the food like I don't like Christmas dinner very much Christmas for me I like this may be like super superficial but I just love like the lights and the decorations and like driving down the road at night and seeing everyone's houses lit up I like that part (laughs) first of all I have to say that I was in Israel for Hanukkah last year Wow. everything is lit up with like dreidels and like there are menorah decorations and like blue and white lights like everywhere I was like I was like my brand is thriving right now because I felt like like obviously like we only do like all these Hanukkah lights because we do there are Christmas lights but I was like my brand thriving but I think for me like you said does slap like they pop off and also Lockers are good all year round, but like any holiday where we celebrate fried food is a holiday for me. Um, and then yeah, like you said with Christmas, it's definitely just like the vibes of the season and all of that kind of jazz. Like I have said all that jazz so many times, both today and yesterday. I was <laughs> yesterday's vlogmas, and I think I said all that jazz like ten times. So I don't know where this came into my vocabulary but I can't stop. I like it but like the Christmas season like Christmas in itself is just a mood and I'm here for it yeah and the music too like I like the you know there's like two or three good Hanukkah songs but like Christmas music I look forward to that so much and that's probably because like I grew up in a musical family and so I like we did carols all the time and stuff but yeah so in my high school um, I did choir in high school and the day before Christmas break every year 
the high school choir, we would go um, to all the different kind of schools in the district, so like seven of them. And we would like walk through the hallways caroling and it was always the best day of the year. That's so cute. I love that. It was literally I wish the we, best day. When I was in, when so in high school, like I went to, I mean, we have, I don't know if it's the same way um, in the States, but we have like Catholic high schools and non-Catholic high schools. And so I went to just like a non-religious high school, but like they still assume you're Christian, you know? So we did carols and stuff, but in junior high, it was like, a strictly like no religion like school so our Christmas carols were like the most non-denominational ones you could come up with like let it snow you know that kind of thing that doesn't mention any holidays at all yeah I feel like sometimes I'm like almost in like an identity crisis where it's like I don't know if I should be like what kind of carols I should be singing and how I should be feeling and like obviously so like I was in Israel I was on a trip with a bunch of other Jews last year and like I feel like I was like kind of the only one that was like mixed religions Mm -hmm. and it was so funny like I was there like on Christmas too and I felt like everyone I was like Merry Christmas and they were like and I was like Merry Christmas (laughs) I know it's like you kind of have to walk both lines because like some I mean like some people in like on the Christmas side they're like if you don't say Merry Christmas you're horrible and it's like well there's more things you know than just Christmas but that's why it's nice when it's like Hanukkah ends on the 18th this year because then you have like that period of time where they don't overlap at all I'm a big 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 fan of the happy holidays me too else involved (laughs) um makes everything nice and simple exactly exactly includes everyone hi vlog so i just recorded with maya as you saw and it was super duper awesome i hope you guys enjoyed that like little insight into our lives and you should definitely go check out maya's channel and her instagram it's also great i'll have everything linked down below and i love chatting with her and it's so cool that we get to do that like over zoom even though she lives like across the continent which is so freaking cool but All of that being said, if you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.